Hi there, I managed to read two of the books off of my um, five books to read in 2011 video, which is pretty good progress for the year. I've had the flu, and I use this as an excuse to not do coursework and just get some reading done, because I don't think the coursework would turn out great. First book I read was Lost at Sea of Ryan Lee O'Malley, um, which I talked about obviously. Um, but, you know, I didn't go through the blurb, and I was reading that after I finished it, and there's a nice bit here in orange writing that says, Riley is 18 years old, and she has no idea what she's doing. If you've ever been 18 or confused, or both, maybe you should read this book. That kind of sums the book up for me. Um, it does that thing that Brian Lee O'Malley is really good at, of capturing a depth, a sensitivity, an emotion, that kind of particularly adolescent sort of turmoil, whilst being very fun, and very silly, and hilarious. And I think that kind of makes it more accessible. I think that um, makes it more universal that, you know, maybe if you're not that age, it, you, like, if it was just straight up, kind of, like, that kind of turmoil of it, you'd be a bit like, oh, stop winching. But because it, it doesn't take itself too seriously, while still having a deeper, um, you know, meaning, it works really well. And let's say that's definitely a strength of Scott Pilgrim too. Um, yeah, so it starts off very confusing, like, literally reflecting, like, um, her mindset and her not wanting to give away too much because she's very insecure and you get a sense of the, the road trip and everything that she's on and it kind of slowly unravels there's this whole thing about cats that she believes have taken her soul which is obviously some kind of metaphor in her subconscious I'm really into this quite a lot but uh, it, it does a really good job of just going through one girl's sort of problems and working them out in the kind of way that's kind of like, you know, a message we can all get around as a teenager, I think. So, I enjoyed it, it was nice. I mean, it wasn't incredible or anything, but certainly a nice little read. For the amount of time it takes to read, it's definitely worth it. Um, it's interesting to read after reading Scott Pilgrim, it definitely has elements that are similar, but you can see how it's, it's moved on a bit, and I definitely prefer Scott Pilgrim to moving on a bit. So then that's all I can really say about Lost to See. Nice little read, pretty fun artwork, there's quite a few laughs in there. And again, actually I was going to say, you, you really, he does characters very well, Brian about you really get a sense of them. And even in this, they're less, really less characterised than Scott Pilgrim, as you know, so it's a shorter arc. But you still feel like you know them quite well. So, yeah, good book. Uh, see you soon.